Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. And we are looking at some uh, isolated showers out there right now, but really not in our area. Let's take a look at what's going on in the live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. And you can see that we've got uh, these isolated showers out across uh, Springfield, Massachusetts, and out in uh, western parts of Connecticut. And they're headed really away from us. So we're not concerned about these storms in particular, but there could be some storms that fire right overhead during the course of the uh, evening hours. Uh, another look back at the rainfall estimates from early in the day. Of course, there were those uh, flash flood warnings in this area right here, Providence County and Kent County and right in this area, the Tioga Avenue area where 116, 117 meet as well. Generally two and a half to five and a half inches of rain fell in a fairly short amount, uh, fairly short period of time. And the end result was some flooded roadways and cars getting stuck. Nothing out there right now, though, which is, of course, good news. Live city camp picture. We've got cloudy skies. Occasionally those Skies are looking threatening, but a little brightening of the sky here. Temperature at 78 in Providence remains ultra humid. 75 in Smithfield, Newport 73. New Bedford right now is at 75. 77 in Taunton. Very humid down there in Westerly at 74. Now the Sally radar picture showing what's going on. We've got some scattered showers and some thunderstorms across the region, and it's right here on off to the south that I'm monitoring things very closely this evening. We could be seeing some showers and thunderstorms fire up and work their way inland into southern New England during the course of the overnight. I'll be here all evening and and on most of the overnight, so we'll watch things very closely. It's all associated with this cold front, basically stalled out across central New England, helping to spark some showers and thunderstorms. I think the focus tomorrow will actually be shift further northward into central Massachusetts and up into New Hampshire, but we're still looking at the threat of showers and thunderstorms in uh, parts of uh, southern New England tomorrow. We'll show you this with our future cast. Here we are at 10 o'clock this evening. This computer model indicating that might see some of these showers and thunderstorms firing back up. The very warm and humid air helping to uh, uh, create these uh, scattered showers and isolated downpours across the region tomorrow morning, looking at some scattered showers might even be woken up to a couple rumbles of thunder during the overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning as well. And Labor Day, not a washout, but again, looking at the possibility of an occasional shower isolated thunderstorm this evening. Basically, what you see is what you get. Very humid, possibility of a shower or a thunderstorm. Same deal for tomorrow morning. Temperatures will be in the 70s up to about 79 degrees by noontime with a threat of a shower or thunderstorm, especially early in the morning, then maybe a break, and then maybe some more uh, showers and thunderstorms during the course of the afternoon. Basically, same deal everywhere. Upper 70s to around 80 degrees across the Providence metro area. A little bit cooler at the south coast in the 70s. If you're planning on heading to the beach tomorrow, we are looking at similar weather to today. Mainly cloudy with the threat of a shower or two. Here's that seven day future cast and we are anticipating uh, maybe a shower or a, a brief thunderstorm on Tuesday, but uh, that'll be associated with a cold front that'll come on through Wednesday. We'll see cooler and drier air working its way into the region Thursday. Much cooler. Same for Friday and very comfortable. Maybe a spot shower on Thursday, Saturday, maybe a late day shower and then we're looking at a nice Sunday next Sunday. All right, so the humidity will eventually fade away. I think by Wednesday it'll feel a lot more comfortable around here. All right, TJ, thanks so much. Coming up on Eyewitness News.